Welcome, my name's Kevin. This is Do It For Bruce. We're here in Victoria 3 once more with you all for another jaunt into the Victorian era. Uh, today, we will be forming Ethiopia because, uh, one, I haven't done it yet. Two, the new drop of uh, Earl Grey, the patch-free patch that just dropped this morning. We want to see some of the new elements. Ethiopia is in the midst of the Age of Princes. The Emperor in Gondar has no effect of power and local rulers divide the country between themselves. So it's kind of like a warring states period um, that I never really knew about that Ethiopia is going through. Oh, we need to form Ethiopia and what do we need to do? Probably take over land. So some of our neighbors are pretty weak, like these boys in the south are pretty weak. But let's see if we can make a diplomatic play on these guys uh, right off the bat because I know we're a little bit stronger than them doing anything too crazy yet but we'll see once we n open into the next stage of things diplomatic maneuvering uh it looks like they're starting to mobilize a little bit um do you think we can sway offer obligation i'd rather not just give an obligation to some random neighbor especially if oh are they trying to oh they joined them oh damn damn hmm we are pushing into the territory, but we're sacrificing all of our homeland. What we'll probably do is just reset, because I thought it, we, it'd be easy to just do a quick, easy, dirty war and be like, boom, boom. But um, clearly not. We probably have to build up a little bit more to get to that point. Classic YouTube. You know when you're getting a, becoming a bigger streamer because the bots come in. What well, I really want to know, like, I just don't really understand, like, what is the point of these ads like it's like is it just to be a nuisance one or is it do they actually they must have a like a 0.1 percent chance of somebody actually clicking on that link and doing whatever malicious thing that that link is trying to do you know it's weird because i've always spent most of my holidays uh in in uh the northwest up here uh and it snowed actually yesterday up here. Um, but one year we were in Colombia for the holidays and it was weird because it was a balmy 79 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, and it was like kind of one of those weird surreal moments being like, oh, Christmas doesn't mean automatically always mean co uh, cold. It also can mean like hot and, uh, and uh, temperate. I think we did a better job of managing, oh God, um, expectations, especially because now we're just making our allies do a lot of the work. Yeah, these guys are just holding this border. See, this is the silly thing about borders in my opinion. These dudes are holding this border right here with me and, or were holding this border and now it's completely evaporated. It's like the warring states. You just pit other people against each other and it should be fine. What happens, can my individual people be capitulated? I think that's probably what I'm gonna hope to happen. This is the shisty activity <laughs> that I don't know if, if it was intended this way because if I just pretended to defend my border and then just let these guys roll up into here and then capitulate these two guys, then we can just wipe peace and everything's all good. Um, or just wait until this guy's opinion drops off. I tried to make a time-lapse video where there was only the U World Cup nations left on the map. It was, uh, I tried it several times, didn't really work out. The plan wasn't as fleshed out as I'd like. But there are split, uh, states that I didn't realize. Like, Bahrain here is actually part of this state as a whole. England, all the countries that were in the World Cup, a thing. And then I was going to give all the tribal land, land to other tribal nations, but... Uh, when you give land to a bunch of tribal nations, they are actually way more powerful than you think they would be. Do a split nation for the World Cup final. Who, who, who's going to win? France or... I, th I think it's probably going to be France, Argentina, or France, Brazil. Unless Spain really brings it to them. Then after this, we'll probably have to do a, uh, a chill out... A uh, little bit of a chill out because I think they're gonna. All my neighbors are gonna be mad. I'm also surprised that 
diplomatically people can't be brought in at any time you know it'd be because it's like it happens all the times in different conflicts like why can't i have a random ally or random like egypt joining this team or something like that obviously for our game purposes it would really screw everybody over but it would make sense that that could happen all right more land for us why not worst comes to worst we uh might back down fully capitulated the boys in the north we fully capitulated the boys in the south let's go ahead and Capitulated, and they're about to capitulate these guys up here. Or maybe they'll fight us for it. They'll fight us for it, damn. Troublesome. I don't know why we keep getting disadvantaged. You know? I still need to learn more about the war mechanics in this game like right now we have a numerical advantage obviously that shouldn't be the main reason we are winning but it feels like we have more regular troops than they do and their conscripts are just beating our asses i feel like chicago style pizza is not my favorite um you guys there's a lesser known pizza variety called detroit style pizza where it's like they take the pizza and they it put it in a square um, baking dish instead of or pan instead of a circular thing. They bake the the dough or the yeah, and in that dish and then they put the toppings and s cheese and stuff on the bottom and then the sauce is delved on top. It's kind of a different take on it. I like it because it like makes it a lot more saucy, which I'm. I'm all about it being saucier. Boom. Solomon's Quest. Wasn't that hard. It took us about two hours and some change to make it happen. After that, it was smooth sailing. Just kidding. Kevin went on for several more hours trying to become unisolated Ethiopia. I don't know if we'll be able to do this, but I'm trying to open up the economy so that we can then become the m number one tea producer in the world. Because uh, right now we have this one building that we could probably make the one number one tea producer actually a non-marginalized group so that we can use them to do it, but it's tough. We need to build factories. We do need to build factories. We have tools and workshops, but the other th trouble I keep running into is we have uh, slaves. Yeah, we have guns, so <laughs> so hopefully this works out in our favor. And they do not have guns. No guns for them. Like, we definitely have more guns than they do. But they, I guess they are just beating us this time because they have pure manpower. But they are suffering suffering a lot of casualties. Slowly. Like, that's the thing is if I had control over my troops, I would be like, don't let them take this land. But now we're pushed into their lands. And it's not really having as big of an effect. I don't, you know. Tis what it is. Yeah. Damn, boy. Damn. <laughs> Just like that, we got annexed. Ba boom. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen the end screen. Wow. That's uh that's wow. So I think that's it for today, man. We uh we made it this far and we made Ethiopia happen. Cause we lost to the civil war, but you know. That's that's the thing. Uh thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Don't forget to comment, you know, follow, like, if you were on YouTube and Twitch. Nope, I think that's it. Hope you all have a good rest of your day, and I'll see you next time we stream or play, you know. Ciao!